Hey everyone, welcome back to Addie P's Real Estate Tea, where today I briefly want to review March of 2023 market report numbers. Now before I get into the video, thank you all for joining me again here on my channel. Um, also, don't forget that I do post on social media, whether it be Facebook via my business page, or whether it be Instagram where there, I tend to post a little bit more regularly. So if you haven't seen videos for a while, don't forget to go over there. And as I stated in my last video, I have been working on some projects lately um, that have kinda got me a little consumed. So please forgive me, I will always come back to this channel and uh, at least give you all the market report for the month. So um, again, welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. If you're new to the channel, thank you for joining us, welcome. All right, and if you like what you hear in the video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Also consider subscribing. Like I said, I am working on some things. I hope to be able to continue to do the market report videos, but also bring you all something else, a little extra, all right? And uh, when you do subscribe, please also hit the bell notification to be notified of future videos on the channel. And <laughs> you already know. If you are following your girl on Instagram, thank you so much. And please don't forget to drop her a heart and show her some love. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, March, interestingly enough, um, I know on a national level, um, things were a little rocky, but we have actually been seeing some gains. And there was double digit gains in sales in March. In fact, it was 14.5% um, of home sales, uh, the increase in home sales, excuse me, which has been the largest increase since July of 2020. So uh, according to NAR, National Association of Realtors, so that's great news. Um, spring, I was a little on the fence about, I wasn't sure how spring was gonna pan out for us. If we were going to, you know, um, be running around crazily, or if it was gonna be lethargic and slow, uh, but so far so good, spring has been great. Uh, we do have, here at least locally more hitting the market um, now the little twist to that um, with the inventory which for quite some years now we have been um, experiencing sluggish inventory um, although inventory is on the rise it's not on the rise enough to meet the demand of buyers in fact in a more healthy balanced market you should have at least three to four months of inventory in order to um, to supply uh, the buyer demand that's out there. And we are not there yet. Um, in particular, locally, we, we definitely are not there. Um, so we still have a seller-driven market. Um, pricing, as far as that goes, pricing has still been pretty heightened. Um, that has not changed either, which as I've stated in previous videos, um, the pricing kind of is going hand in hand with the inflation and other economical sectors. Uh, so we can expect higher pricing to stay, even in the rental market. Um, so those of you looking to expand on, an, uh, um, on a real estate investment portfolio, definitely good news for you in that sense. Um, but home prices, as far as them being elevated for the foreseeable future, um, are definitely here to stay. So um, don't anticipate that five bedroom with the in-ground pool for $100,000 anytime soon. <laughs> All right, um, so uh, again, you know, we have that, uh, that part of the inventory being short. But another reason for inventory shortage are um, this uptick in mortgage rates. You know, they went down slightly, went back up, went down a little bit more. Um, so not sure exactly where that's going to lie. You know, obviously uh, the Fed kind of uh, dictates, even though they don't technically dictate mortgage rates, they kind of do heavily influence them. So um, wherever they float to, as far as interest rates are concerned, that's what's pretty much going to play into how we have inventory. And when I say that, um, you have to think about the seller 
And where is the seller going to go? Um, depending on how long that seller has been in the home, they are now entering back out into a housing market that may be completely different from when they purchased the home. Um, they may have purchased it and had a mortgage rate of four or you know three uh three percent whatever the case may be which is significantly lower than what they're um you know being faced with now plus to top it off again like i said we do have higher pricing so um therefore we are uh sellers are a little bit more challenged than what they may have been you know years back um, but needless to say, uh, that is really causing some apprehension for sellers to really say, okay, you know what, now is the time for us to move. You know, we've been talking about upgrading or, you know, downgrading, you know, empty nester, whatever the case may be. Uh, you know, they're really starting to rethink that because with mortgage rates at, at or just about at 7%, opposed to if I have a sweet mortgage rate of, uh, of 3%, you're really gonna think twice about that. So, um, and make no mistake about it. Also, uh, we still have folks that have been really uh, severely impacted by the great financial crisis that we experienced in uh, 2008 that have still been frozen in, in that, uh, that bubble and they have not been able to expand and, and move on from that. They are stuck where they're at if they're so fortunate and they didn't lose their home or whatever the case may be. So um, we still have some of those lingering sellers there too, uh, which has contributed to therefore the inventory shortage that we have. So um, consider that when you're you know, out and about, looking around and so forth. Um, you know, those folks who are into investing and so forth, please, um, you know, continue to keep your eye on the market, uh, continue to keep your eye on rates and so forth and see where things come, come into play. Um, you know, they talked about the height, uh, the heightened um, uh, foreclosure and uh, uh, market that that would be a little bit more. And I have seen uh, some more activity, I will say that. So, um, you know, if that's your thing, if you're into short sales, foreclosures, and purchasing those types of properties, again, keep your eye out on that uh, because there is a little bit more activity. Um, not this onslaught, not this flood, but we have seen more activity in that sector. So keep an eye out for that. Now, um, as far as Lehigh Valley is concerned and their numbers and where we lie um, locally here, new listings have been, uh, are down in the double digits um, by 27.5% to 626 uh, listings, new listings for March. Uh, pending sales were down by 23.3% uh, to 526 uh, listings. Inventory, as I stated, um, it's the same thing here locally too, is down by 10.5% to 522 units. Days on market, 25 days, um, which is under 30, which is, is great. It's still, uh, you know, it's definitely not uh, what we experienced in 2021, but, um, it's still pretty impressive. 25 days is, is under 30, so that's still a good period of time. Uh, month supply of inventory is at 0.9 uh, months. So we're still under a month. Like I said, we need at least three to four months of uh, inventory to have a more balanced buyer-seller market, all right? Uh, median sales price sellers, music to your ears, <laughs> is up by 8.1% to 303,000. So it's great. So um, if you are a seller, if this is your time, this um, is a video that you need to be listening to. You just heard some of those stats there, um, but definitely consult with a real estate professional in regard to um, 
what your options are and so forth but I do believe that from what I'm seeing here in the early parts of spring that we are going to have a nice robust spring um, and uh, hopefully that'll lead us into a great uh, summer and fall so we shall see all right guys well um, I am all out of time I am trying my best to like I said keep these videos as short and brief as possible not be too wordy but you know your girl loves real estate so you get what you get <laughs> all right um, also, uh, please, if you are local here, I will be along with attorney Justin Shell, um, Alyssa Young, and John Waymer from um, MTM Financial on May 17th, Wednesday, May 17th, from 5.30 to 7.30 at the Allentown Public Library, where we will be um, chopping up, uh, chopping it up, excuse me, chopping up chopping it up a bit in regard to estate and investment planning, which I think is great, especially those of you who have not yet quite entered that investment arena yet, but are really interested in it to come get a little bit of info. If you are, you know, planning for your future, I think that this is a great informational forum for you to come get some information on estate planning and how that kind of works into everything. I always say the best way to succeed is to prepare. So on that note, I'm all done blabbing. I'll see you guys soon. Have a blessed one. Take care. <laughs>